All right, on. It is one of the most fascinating and on many levels troubling bear incidents on the North Shore in some time. A black bear breaking into several homes, raiding refrigerators, and in one case, trapping a family in their home. After a nine-hour chase, conservation officers shot the animal. They say they had no choice. And the experts say cases like this show that bears are becoming more experienced and bolder. Here's Robin Stickley. While the homeowner caught it all on video, this large male black bear made small work of a tray of brownies it had just taken out of a refrigerator inside a nearby shed. Took it off the bottom shelf, dragged it all the way across, got it outside and just started going, uh, going crazy. After hitting several other homes in the neighborhood for food, the animal was tracked down and shot. Conservationists say the bear had been tagged in West Vancouver prowling for garbage two years ago. It was relocated north of Squamish, but experts say once a black bear knows where a food source is, its memory and amazing sense of smell will bring it back repeatedly. It's not surprising to me because they are guided by the most amazing nose and the most amazing memory. So once they've received food somewhere, they will be back for sure. Even if you remove the attractant, they will come back looking for it. Miller says black bears are more intelligent than most people realize. They have an IQ greater than a German Shepherd's, one of the smartest dog breeds, and a nose seven times more sensitive than a bloodhound's. The animals are becoming home invaders not because they're getting smarter, more accurately, they're more experienced and less fearful. He just got his little claws in there and he just ripped it right out. The whole door came off apart. It was sh absolutely shattered into about four pieces, five pieces. Susan Twarog says corn on the cob brought a large male to her backyard and he wasn't bothered one bit by the air horn. They're getting bolder. They're getting bolder. So we've gotten a lot more strict. We don't put out bird feed the way we had in the past. Um, we don't have, we cut down our cherry tree. On average, about 700 black bears are killed a year in BC and half that number relocated. Experts agree the problem comes back to humans who aren't getting the message about how dangerous habituation of these wild animals can be. If the bear isn't meaning to cross the line, he's just following his nose. If he's used to being around people, he'll have lost his wariness. He's less fearful and more likely to make a, a mistake that could cost him his life.